On the face of it, there doesn't seem to be much connection between the jet and the glider, but at the Home Command Gliding Instructors School, RAF Detling Kent, they know that the more ATC cadets they get air-minded now, the more jet pilots they'll be for the future. When the glider is a thousand feet up, the tow rope is released. The pilot, Flight Lieutenant Alan Piggott, and Air Training Corps Cadet Brian Watley together broke the British height record for two-seater gliders. They climbed to more than three miles. After the First World War, the Germans weren't allowed to have an air force, so they concentrated on gliding. That's how they were able to build up their Luftwaffe so swiftly. This is known as an intermediate glider. Like flying with an engine, gliding is learned in stages. This one's a primary glider for flying solo. The gliders are connected to a steel wire cable that's wound onto a winch about a mile away. Above three miles, oxygen masks are worn. The glider's height record of more than eight miles is held by America. The duration record, 56 and a quarter hours, is held by the French. But now that the RAF's taking up gliding in a big way, there'll soon be a few in Britain who'll have something to say about all that.